And yes, haha, I know it's called Zen Wi-Fi and it's not based on me. Routers are one of the few hardware that we don't frequently change. And that means that the gap between using your current existing hardware and new hardware coming out can get really large. And I've been using a Wi-Fi 5 router from Totalink uh, for about three years, more than three years. And it's just up to Wi-Fi 5. The download speeds and upload speeds uh, are quite slow. And in my package is not to blame because I'm using times one gigabyte line, which is a lot and it costs me about 200 bucks a month. So to fully utilize that speed, I definitely needed a new router that supports the Wi-Fi 6 protocol. So what I actually liked is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XD5. And this comes in a two pack in this one box and it costs about 1,000 over, slightly over 1,000 ringgit. And it just looks like this. No, this is not a Bluetooth speaker. This is actually the router itself. I've actually set up the router already because it was actually quite simple because not a lot of people actually know how to set up a new router because when we buy a new package, we have someone come into the house and set everything up from the fiber to the gateway and to their provided router in your contract. But that piece of hardware is always not as reliable because, you know, for one, it's cheap and it's not that good. So you might be not fully utilizing your package's full download and upload potential. So with this Zen Wi-Fi XD5, this, this is actually one of the simplest routers that I've ever used. You only see one router with me because the other router is actually already set up. I needed to make sure that everything was in working order. I wanted to try the traditional way of connecting to the router by just going to my Chrome browser after connecting it to the router directly and setting it up from there. But I actually think the Asus router mobile app for on the Play Store and your App Store is actually way easier because they claim it's just three steps and you only needed to input some information from your internet service provider, which you should have. And everything just connects and handshakes seamlessly. So that main router is already connected to my gateway modem. This one is here acting as the mesh, but you see here's the beauty of it. Either one of these two pack routers can be the main router. So this can be placed in another place somewhere in your house. So I live in a condo, so this actually stays in my room because my room actually has a lot of dead zones and a lot of metal that will interfere with the signal waves. So my download and upload speeds has always been compromised in that sense and I really can't do anything about it except maybe try out a mesh-based system. And besides, Wi-Fi 6 is definitely way more coverage. We're going into that 160 megahertz channel, which is great, even though Wi-Fi 5 was just, you know, maybe I think 20 megahertz in difference. So the router is just very easy to look at. You just plug it in. Once you just plug it in, you, you just need to pay attention to your blue and yellow stickers for your WAN, LAN, and your LAN. So the WAN and LAN connects to your gateway modem, while the yellow one connects to your PC via LAN, obviously, or wirelessly. After using the router mobile app, it's very fairly straightforward. You just need to put in your username and your password from your internet service provider and choose from the list of internet service providers in the drop-down menu in the app or on your browser, and you just select the one. It was actually the easiest thing that I've ever been through, and everything just worked, but of course, that is just for that one main router. What about the second router? What about this guy, you know? Because it is a two pack. So I actually didn't even do anything because it just connected on its own because of something called AI Mesh, which is an additional feature that's pretty good uh, on Asus routers. And it automatically connected when I tried to even look for it because I thought that after I put in that main router and I have to plug in the second one, I still need to search for it from the app and connect it. But it turns out I was wrong. I just literally plugged it in and it powered up and booted up after a little while. And when I tried to look for it, it already says I was connected. <laughs> so that was pretty easy. Because even if you have a very basic level of technical knowledge, the app and through the browser is incredibly easy to do. And you can even still use that app 
Later on, when everything is set up to change things such as your Wi-Fi name, also known as your SSID, and your passwords, allow guest access with quota limitations, and a lot of other things including firmware updates and whatnot, those little quality of life changes. I asked my gaming friend OG what he thought about it because he is a system integrator by profession with specialization in network. And here's what he had to say. Okay, since uh, these apps already detect another uh, second route mesh Wi-Fi router, this is the best of the ASUS because it will automatically connect to the second uh, router. You can see here, this is the main router. Okay, for IP thing, uh, of course, uh, this is uh, this is the gateway from the main router. Okay, for the second router is both of it is already handshake and connected each other. So you can do the Wi-Fi test uh, from another location. Yeah, thanks OG for setting this up with me and you didn't have to do a lot this time. So now that you know just how capable the Zen Wi-Fi XD5 is in terms of easy setup and of course performance, before I get into performance, there is something that I want to get into and that is the AI protection. So it's a module inside the Asus router app. And it's powered by Trend Micro, which is quite a well-known cybersecurity company. So AI protection is commercial grade. It will protect your home network and even your devices from all sorts of malware, phishing, infection attacks, uh, including brute forcing your passwords. And you can see from here that you can scan uh, just how protected you are with AI protection. And they will tell you what kind of steps you need to take, such as for example, I did not change my, you know, the username and password that's default. So if I change that, it will no longer show like, you know, I have one vulnerability. So the rest I've already established. So like there's no universal plug in and play. I, DMZ is an on, uh, port trigger is off. Let's talk about, you know, just plain human carelessness. You all have, you already have an infected device. So what do I do? Uh, well, AI protection actually takes it a step further and already will find out if the device that's trying to connect to this network is already infected. And if it's already infected, it would actually block that network access. So that is particularly useful and that's very, very reactive. You know, some antiviruses only start taking action when you're already infected. This one, this AI protection stops it before you even get infected from your core system and it all starts from your router. So that is the next step in everything that we do in today's modern society. It's all about your network and the cybersecurity of your network and how hard it is for attackers to enter your network and steal all your data and infect all your files. This is actually pretty useful. I thought it was just a small part of it, but you know, it's a lifetime subscription. You don't have to pay any additional fees even after a certain period of time. So now that you know all this, let's get on to those download speeds. Huh? The download speeds were expected because I tried it in every possible manner. I've connected my laptop directly to the router using LAN and I managed to get almost one gigabit per second with accompanying upload speeds, which is significantly lower. I mean, it's a package thing, I guess. And of course, a structure uh, issue and even trying it on Wi-Fi. And I'm really, really happy to see that my phone, my tablet and my laptop when connected wirelessly got more than twice the download and upload speeds from before then when I had my previous router with the limited coverage. And it was a success. I have to say it's just a very easy success. There's not much to say. The, so the ease of use is there. The footprint is there. This does not look like a normal router. You know, a normal router would look like, you know, a multi-headed Alaskan crab or even just a small tissue box. But no, this, this just looks like either a Bluetooth speaker that you get from your secret center or anywhere else because it's just so small and it's even able to be mounted onto a wall because you know you you also have that knowledge in terms of network sensitivities to materials from your house so you can stick it anywhere and explore just the best possible locations to mesh up your home with better coverage and download and upload speeds so a thousand bucks for this solution a little bit of technical knowledge 
a very friendly user interface with very, very easy step-by-step -step instructions, you're absolutely ready to go. I recommend this on the basis that you want to change from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 for your home because that's something that a lot of people tend to neglect and especially with all these internet packages getting more and more fast, you obviously need to keep up that pace with the appropriate hardware. So the Zen Wi-Fi series gets a big tick from me in terms of value, design, function, and ease of use. Thank you guys for watching. This is Zen the Geek, and I'll see you guys in the next video.